some point we got four Pretty viewers soon. hey and we're on cable hey How's it going? Oh, ghost yeah. trip <laughs> <laughs> did you forget well we're here oh. to remind you again hello hello this is amanda this is cat welcome to portland place or thing welcome we to <laughs> portland place or thing um <laughs> on today's episode we're going to talk about a ghost trip that we went on uh we went to a ghost convention in Seaside, Oregon. Seaside. But before we get into that good business, I want to talk to Kat on the floor and figure out what the hell she's doing. Kat, will you tell us what the hell you're doing? I'm cold. <laughs> I'm very, very cold. My feet are freezing. Ever since we got back from Seaside, <laughs> my feet have been so cold. And so, I, so cold. And I have no, I have, I have zero matching socks in this pile. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on until I'm warm. Until your feet are warm? And, until, yep, until I'm warm. Just, you're warm? Until I'm warm. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kat, uh, what is the phone number that you can dial to call in today? Oh my god. So... <laughs> it is 503-288-4442. And you may think that I was just reading it off of there. You're wrong. Nope, memory. Memory foam. That's what I'm made out of. You can just wander around. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So tell us about this. Uh... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> now I have one less suck. So uh, we decided to do a PowerPoint presentation of the great time that we had. It's so weird to have you lower. <laughs> Hello, my friends. <laughs> it's so weird to have you lower than me. This sock is too small. <laughs> it's too <laughs> small. Uh, so we made a great PowerPoint presentation that is up on the big screen. It's beautiful. To present to you today. So uh, <sighs> we hope that you will uh, invest in our marketing plan. <laughs> We want you <laughs> to join us on this ghost trip. All right. <laughs> so let's get this started. Let's look at this first beautiful. Totally. Shut up, Tony. Sorry, our camera guy's talking to us. What can we, what? Nope, we're nope. just, we're, we're going to do our presentation. Man, I feel like. We can't like, see I anyone like in case anybody's trying. We cannot see anyone in the studio. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. What do you feel? Do like? you feel a draft? Like, I feel a coldness in this. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Something moved. I am cold. <laughs> Your feet are very cold. <laughs> um, They're hey. getting fatter by the moment. But please call in. Give us your ghost stories. We want to hear about them. I forgot to say hey, that. Hey, Professor Crane. I see you uh, on Twitch chat. Also, if you're watching us now on uh, Twitch, please chat with us. That'd yeah. be great. Hey, if you want me to put on a particular sock to stay warm, um, we can probably get a shot of them at some point during the show, more, more than likely. I can't see if anybody's listening. I don't know if anybody's <laughs> even in here. I can't see anyone. Right it's so dark. It's so dark. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the spooky ooky ooky -est. Oh, yeah, there's somebody in here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, can we get a shot of the beautiful projector at any point? Oh, um, to start yes. Our Thank Look you. at it. Look at that. Uh, so Portland Place or Thing. Ghost trip. It's kind of like girls trip. That great movie, but boring and ghosts. Yeah. Uh, but not really, because we didn't really. see any ghosts. We did not see any ghosts. We just went to a ghost convention. So let's get this 
going? What's next? Oh, who did we go with? We have introductions of people who we went with. Ah, there. <laughs> where is everyone? Hello. <laughs> <gasps> Yay! Yay! Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> introductions. Okay, I'm going to the next slide. Look at this cool animation. Yes. Beautiful. Boom. Oh. We went with Megan. Sorry, your name is blocked by the calling us live. We didn't think about that. Um, hobbies and clues for Megan. Pointing out dogs in public. She racked up like 50 dogs that she f saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's there were so many. She's a burrito chef. Mm -hmm. uh, she <laughs> being rejected by key card locks. <laughs> Collecting octopus decor. Exuding chillness. And then quotes, Megan, I'd prefer not to do. <laughs> I'd prefer not to. Food is amazing and I love it so much. Points at a trash can. It's me. Every trash can was naked. It turns out she's just a garbage can. She's just a garbage can. She's just a garbage can. Loves food. So this is Megan avoiding a shot at the ghost convention. This is Hey. hey this Who's is that? Me. Oh, it's Amanda. It's Amanda. My <laughs> hobbies include watching ghost hunting shows. True fact. Telling Cat to stop filming. Another true, Very true fact. <laughs> fact. <laughs> Drink queen. You brought you brought all those drinks. I did. I did bring you all those. All the drinks. I brought a lot of drinks <laughs> uh, to alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Yeah. Let's just do it. Collecting Halloween decor. True. I bought a Halloween thing. Being a, and you'll see that in another slide. It's great. Uh, being uncomfortable with direct eye contact. One hundred percent true. I like not doing that. Quotes. Just looking at your feet, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, quotes. Ghost it up and ghost it out. Okay, that's enough. That's mainly directed at Kat. Yep. Uh, I really want to go to the shoe museum. I do. There's a shoe museum. Hey, Kat, right now, how many how many socks do you I have on? I wasn't counting. <laughs> <laughs> there you got like... I'm so cool. <laughs> they got like double in size. Oh, man. Okay, uh, next slide is... <laughs> I also have no toes. You guessed it. Hey. Hey. It's me. It's Katarina. Cat, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are over sharing, being cold, potato stuffing, uh, making up songs for mundane activities. That is just, that doesn't matter if I'm on a ghost trip or not. Packing too many leggings. Do you want to take a guess at to how many leggings I actually packed for this ghost trip? Seven. Yeah, that's that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. For our for our th <laughs> three day two nights away. Uh oh no. What else do I like? Oh yeah. Uh also having endless uh, TikTok songs stuck in my head. You know what? I enjoy TikTok. Uh, don't at me. It's just what I like. Uh, my quotes include. Oh, it is too salty. <laughs> Sorry, it's stuck in my head, and I fell down to earth from a hundred miles away. And what's that? That's a uh, that's all that's Alien Boy by Olive Tree. It's a TikTok song. Yeah, there you hey. go. Hey, on brand. It's the one I had stuck in my head for the longest time during our trip. Cool. Okay, next slide. Condo secrets. Ooh, shh. Oh, shh. Secret. Um, just as a side note, I stole, well, I mean, they were going to toss it, whatever. I stole all that stuff. Everything that's on the screen <laughs> that's not words or moving, um, I, I took from the condo before we left uh, to use them because they were just going to go to waste. I don't like waste. All right, so... All right. Well, let's find out. Uh, let's find out how... The con we have our first video, actually, right? Yeah, we have our yeah. first video. We're going to try this out, guys. Everybody? Is everybody ready to try out are this video? We're ready. We're ready. Oh, man. Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? We got three viewers. We got three viewers. I hope Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Go back. Go back. Um, There we go. Let's do Here we it. Go. Here's our condo secrets.
that's Amanda telling me to stop. All right, that was Condo Secrets. This little vlog. I do I not want to restart it. <laughs> you go to hell. It was <laughs> there pleasant. we go. Um, All right. So yeah, we stayed in. Uh... <gasps> Hello, who is this? Yo, what's good? This is Eric Barry Drazen. This who? This is Eric Barry Drazen. Eric Barry Drayden? Drazen, yeah. Oh, hello. How are you doing, Eric? Dude, I'm hanging out. Are I you? I hear myself echoed in your in your situation. Uh, there's a chance you may, whatever you're watching on, you should turn down, right? Oh, I, I, I'm not watching. I have no idea what I just called into. I just saw that Dave Moser posted on Facebook. <laughs> ah! You guys are talking about ghosts. I'm like, all right, ghosts are sick. I want to talk about ghosts right yeah. now. Yeah. Do you have a ghost story? Oh, man. No, but I did have a bear outside my window last night climbing up a telephone pole. That was pretty crazy. A bear? Yeah, it was like a bear. Oh, my God. Like, like it was like, it was like, I wish I was like, I wish I could show you, but there's a telephone pole right out the window of my apartment, and there was like a bear. How did... I have so many questions, and I don't know where to begin. Um, how, f how far out do you live in the wilderness? Um, the second story. So it wasn't Wait. like that uh, far. Like the, the bear had to be climbed like about 20 feet up this pole, <laughs> and there were these two cops kind of like standing there yelling at it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and that, that's what kind of drew my attention, you know? Because I'm like, I'm in my studio. I'm just sort of working my, my situation. And then, like, I see this bear freaking out, kind of, like, having a panic attack on a pole. Oh, no! And I'm just like, you know, we should be nicer to the bear. Yeah, why are you yelling at it? Why are you yelling at this bear? It doesn't want to be there either. <laughs> it doesn't want to be there, man. Oh, you know? man. Oh, my, well, I'm glad that you were safe from the bear. Do you know what happened to the bear? Well, it, they chased it off the pole. And then it ran next door and climbed up an evergreen tree. Oh. And, and it was just kind of chilling in there. And then the cops were just kind of waiting in this parking lot for it. And I don't know what they did because this dude was just like, yeah, I'm going to stay in this parking lot until 7 in the morning. What? Okay. So do you know if, if uh, any, like, animal animal folks what are they called animal control oh, animal control there it is well i don't know i think i think the thing is like so i'm in new york state oh so like i don't think you can fuck with the bears you know like i think they're just like protected or something so they can't even like humanely catch them i don't think they can catch them hmm. like in new, in new jersey which is like maybe an hour and a half from here. Yeah. I think every couple of years they may do a bear hunt. They let the dudes go out and shoot the bears. Whoa. 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 So what are like, you guys I mean, doing on the East Coast? So it's pos I don't know, man. East Coast is weird. But like, so there may be bear ghosts running Ooh. around like fucking shit up. Like, cause I, I, I'd be a pissed off bear. Yeah, they pro there probably are bear ghosts. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you for that riveting bear story. We are actually um, right now giving a PowerPoint presentation about our ghost conference trip, our trip to the coast for some ghosts. Wait, so you, it was a conference of ghosts? Well, it was a are conference. Are you guys spiritualists? No. No. <laughs> uh, we just, uh, we like stuff. That's really all. Oh, we're supposed to ask you about a PowerPoint? Dave says we should ask you about PowerPoint. Are you an Oh, expert? I love PowerPoint. I think PowerPoint is the most powerful visual medium of our time. I mean, forget interactive technology or moving image. We have PowerPoint. And this is a really important thing for us to know that we have and to use as a vehicle for creative expression. Well, does it matter if we're using uh, slides instead of PowerPoint, if it's the same basic principle? 
Well, just what do you mean by slides? Google Slides. <laughs> We're using Google well, Slides. Well, I find that Google Slides is not quite as expressive as PowerPoint. I mean, you should. I mean, you can check out our YouTube <laughs> when we upload it, and you'll see how expressive we got it. Oh, really? Wait, can I watch it right now? Are you guys? Are you we're guys on, yeah, we're on this? Twitch right now, actually. How do I get to it? <laughs> uh, you should talk to Dave. Um, we're going to uh, continue on the show. You should totally talk to Dave to find that out, because we got a whole, whole bunch more slides. To we get have thirty for our more show. slides, and we have but like forty so minutes I, to do it. One thing I can add is I have yeah. an uncle who um, is a ghost expert. Really? And yeah, he he works with a group in California called the Institute for Noetic Sciences. Noetic. Noetic Sciences? Yeah, N O E T I C. It was founded by Buzz Aldrin <laughs> after he went <laughs> after he went into outer space and had an enlightenment experience. And then I guess he came back to Earth and went to California and met all these new age weirdos. And so they kind of have this, like, pseudoscience thing going on. Well, I'm glad that they found each other. <laughs> yeah, they found each other. I think that's really nice. Sometimes I mean, like, it's hard to find the people. Yeah, especially if they pass away. Has he, has he seen any ghosts? Or have they caught any? Well, I'm he's sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that you can listen to ghosts through your electronics. Right. Well... <laughs> We would love to hear more about it. You should log on to the ch Twitch chat and chat with everybody about it. We'll be we'll be checking on the in on that. We're gonna let you go. We're gonna get back to our PowerPoint. Okay, Godspeed. Thank you so much for calling in, Eric. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. How many socks do you have on? Oh, uh, at least thirty. At least thirty socks. I'm working on this one. <laughs> But my feet look um, like cartoon feet. Like cartoon feet. Waka. All right. Okay. What's our next slide? Oh, the actual con. Yeah, the actual <laughs> convention that we went to. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, call in. All right. Uh, we went there. There's that. Yeah, there's a there's the place we went. Uh, we went to a class. We took a class. Uh, we took a class about haunted properties and real estate practice. And here's a couple of pictures that we took. Uh, it, so sorry that one of the pictures is all fucked up, but it was like, would you buy a haunted house? And like 49% was like, under no circumstance. And then like the next one, like 18% was like, yes, it would not be a factor. But the best one is, sure, I'd buy a haunted house with a larger kitchen. <laughs> if it had a larger kitchen. If it had a larger this kitchen. This kitchen is too small, um, but ghosts are fine. All right, up next, we have the three readings. Um, we all did reading. You want to talk about that? No, you should talk about it. Um, we did three readings. Uh, let's see what the first one is. Megan's aura. Megan got her aura read. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah, pl we'll play the video and you'll find out. You'll find out what we mean. Here we go. Great. Great. Don't sit behind Megan. It'll interfere with her oh, aura. Will that interfere with it? I don't want to interfere with your aura. Aura. Pretty sure. So, what's your first name? Megan. And Ethan. It's not here. You can come say hi. I will. I mean, it's like okay, okay. Okay. Size of the I saw size of the aura. That was one of the first two. And then, um, so you're going to put your hand on the sensor in front of you. I would love to And then I'll take your hand I'll do Then I email. They have bad cats. For her just bad putting her day. hand on a thing. And then it not working. Oh. 
All right. No. She kept pushing and it didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to go to the next slide because she kept pushing and it wouldn't work. But okay. this is her results. Uh, she's apparently blues and purples in her beautiful aura. Uh, <laughs> she's super chill. <laughs> so chill. And still waters run turbulent. Um, her, she's like a lot of blue. So she has a lot of intuitive energy. And mm -hmm. um, she's artistic. And she had a lot of purples. So again, intuitive, intuitive. <laughs> <laughs> sensitive, and spiritual qualities. It was, what was it, $25 well spent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 30% of her aura being read. And it was a really, it was still a really long report, and all of it was like, you're super chill. Scroll down. This is a pie chart that shows that you're look, super chill. Look at how chill you are. Look at this graph. It shows that you're really, really chill. Hey, you might have, you know, some issues internally, but outside. Super chill. Super chill all the super time. Super chill. You don't let anybody see. Okay. Um, oh, hey, Ed. Oh, hi, Ed. Well, Apparently, there's the most haunted houses in Cape Cod. Ooh. Fun fact. Fun fact about Cape Cod. Okay, here's Megan's interview about the whole experience. Let's see how she felt about it. <laughs> it, was, it was a little, it was a little disappointing because I couldn't get like the full reading because the thing wouldn't work for me. Yeah. Even though it worked for the woman when she was testing it out, sure. and she didn't know why it wasn't working. Too goddamn chill. Yeah, and then yeah, like. I know I'm a pretty chill, smooth person. I know that about myself, but it was a little disappointing that it didn't show more because I know that I have like these anxieties and these things that I'm working on and none of that seemed to be reflected in the horror reading, mm -hmm. which was like, I kind of wanted to get a little bit more out of it than just like, oh, you're, you're a chill chick. It's like, yeah, I know that. Tell me something about I'm wondering if aura reading is just sort of what you outwardly exude. Maybe. Yeah. Versus like... Maybe it's just like it couldn't catch my inner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's occurring. It's too tight. I should have like chosen a different. Um, <laughs> too protected. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Like, um, I've sh I've shelled that part of myself <laughs> off, and so that can't be read. Right. Or or <laughs> yeah. Whatever. So maybe I should have done like the Palmer or the Tarot or something. Right. And I could have gotten some more info about All myself. Right. But it was cool. Like I'm gonna read through the report some more, but yeah. Which would have shown a little bit more than just here, you're chill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Kat, <laughs> let's talk about your sock situation. Yeah. So, I have this guy. I don't know if we can get a really good shot of this. Let me try. Ah! His face is about the size of a human face at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Look. <laughs> Also, um, a few minutes ago while we were talking, it got much colder next to me. That's really weird. So I'm only inspired to put on more socks. Um, at the end of this episode, let's see if you can walk in these. Suckers. Yeah, we should find out if I can walk in these. I am ripping some of them to get them on. <laughs> I am fairly certain I have uh, frostbite happening on my back. Ooh. It feels so chilly. I need more socks i don't feel any coldness hmm. Hmm. near you the hmm. sock isn't gonna work all right next slide let's see it no Who i don't want to replay oh no one wants that cat oh it's me you got your palm red i got my palm red and i cry <laughs> what's <see> new <laughs> I am right here. Yeah. Okay. Sound so, is real shitty. My hand is yeah, you, said. you now as an adult. Okay? This is this is the true you, not your persona. Your left hand, which is your non-dominant hand, is about your subconscious self and your child self. So what I'm looking at is the position of your, of your fingers in relation with each other. Okay. And I can tell, I start with your little finger, which is about communication and sexuality. You have um, a, a good sense of communication. You communicate well. Okay. Um, you have a good sense of humor. Laws and rules are important to you. Um, you make decisions based on your feelings rather than logic. How does it feel? Does this feel like this? Okay. Um, you have a relatively uncomplicated mind. You don't have a lot of stag 
mind <clears throat> and issues going on inside your mind is relatively clear. Okay? Pretty clear uh, line of emotion. There, there has been some issues in your childhood that has brought you some frustration, anxiety, and some stress. But it doesn't look like it's been super bad. It's just been a little bit of stuff happening. Probably not too abnormal because most kids have things that it is. Uh, okay. The type of person that you would best fit with in a romantic home would be somebody that is uh, dependable and responsible and romantic. So you want someone who has both of those qualities in your life. You also uh, connect well with people in more than one way emotionally. So it makes you more like a... Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> Everyone behind us was really loud, but basically... I mean, my hand's pretty chill. Yeah. A lot of us uh, being chill. There's only one difference. Nope. No. I uh, I hold in my feelings, you know, mm -hmm. family stuff, and then crying. But let's see what my reaction was immediately after <laughs> the reading. We practically ran outside. <laughs> Exit interview, take one. <laughs> What'd you think of your poem reading? The pressing emotion thing makes a lot of sense with all the stuff that I, especially recently, that I've been like, yo, I'm gonna stand up for myself and do all my shit, whatever. <laughs> I, like, died a little bit when he was like, there's nothing really, uh, you know, nothing too terribly stressful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it would make sense that it's not necessarily as, like, blatant on my adult hand. The reason that I cried was the like holding on to uh, like family stuff what? and uh, I've had a lot of issues with like understanding Tony's family and understanding family dynamics after I came back into it. I did think that the uh, like recent change or like the change that is like you're currently in that's not a big change was interesting. Uh, I felt like it was good. It was uh, right to the point. Nice. It was a, it was a, it was a good reading. He was very kind. I could tell that, like, I mean, I almost made him start crying. So, he seemed very sensitive. So, moving on. Next, next, I got my tarot red. Amanda got her tarot red. And this is a very long video, but we're not gonna play the whole thing because it's, it was like 25 minutes. And I'm very bad at filming. <laughs> So Amanda is going to get a, is a tarot reading, a ten, ten, card, ten card tarot reading on this beautiful table. Yeah, um, I like all your tapestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to give a full scope so we can really understand the, like, level that she is bringing to this. So, wands are the element of fire, and so they're like what fires you up, uh, what motivates you, what drives you, what you're passionate about, um, your spark, uh, your spirits, all of that good stuff. I knew you were going to show up as wands because redhead, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you're shutting down whoever was more timid or more quiet version of yourself, and you're like... Alright, that's enough of that. Sure, yeah. I'm going to call it up. <laughs> Can't She's, move forward. Uh, basically, pr like, how did you feel about? I guess we're gonna find out. We'll find out we'll with the video. We'll find out. <laughs> what did you feel about your tarot reading? I thought it was uh, it was intense because she gave direct eye contact the entire time. Um, which, when people do that to me, I try to meet it. <laughs> meet it, and um, so that was interesting. Um, the uh, a lot of the stuff about like trying to 
it, she said it in more flowery terms where it's like trying to be like extroverted and, and um, not really caring I guess what others think right like working on that from the cards I was like yup <laughs> that's spot on um trying to just uh just do things I guess like I took it as trying to do things just to do them mm-hmm. and um I was like spot on yeah a lot of the stuff I felt like were was really spot on and uh made a lot of sense she didn't really- next slide <laughs> <laughs> stuff we bought Ooh, we bought so much stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. stuff we bought stuff we bought do we need to check in with your uh cold well, like the 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 actual this frostbite is, went away. This is somebody's fetish. <laughs> this is somebody's king. And now I just have Steven Universe feet. You're like a baby. <clears throat> that's that's definitely someone's kink. Uh, call in if you have a ghost story. 503-288-4442. Do it. Okay, on to the stuff that we bought at the ghost convention. What did we buy? Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this beautiful artwork. Ooh. So Megan bought that. So Goes on the on the. Megan wall. bought a thing. I bought um like a back curtain, and Megan also bought like a face and body cream that was it, really good. It was really good, and it smelled really good. They had, like, the vendors there were really great. They had mm-hmm. spooky things. They had, like, holistic things. There's crystals. There's readings and therapy stuff and uh, a lot of uh, Cthulhu stuff. A lot of Cthulhu stuff. Yeah. And then, oh, shit, I didn't mean to. And fairies. There was a lot of fairies stuff, too. Um, That's what bought, I bought. Cat bought a bunch of stuff. She bought some okra chips. Yeah. Those are for Jacob and some uh, weird jerkies. Yeah. They're also for Jacob. I got a lot of saltwater taffy. I got two fingerless gloves and two necklaces because they were big and cheap. Just like I like them. (laughs) Big and cheap. (laughs) Big and cheap. All right. Uh, Did we see any ghosts? Let's find out. Ooh. Ghosts we saw Ooh, and, and other, other creepy, creepy things. Look at that ghost. Oh. Look at that kind of ghost. Oh, he's so uh, spooky. He's so spooky. Oh, <laughs> he smell the camera. Oh, you smell it. it. Oh, oh okay. my God. Okay. Here are some ghosts we saw. Oh. Uh, we saw fog mm-hmm. on the drive home. That was the closest we got <laughs> to a ghost. We saw. Uh, the hotel dryer <laughs> vent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that created steam. So much steam. And we got some ghost poop. Got some ghost poop from the convention. That's proof, right? Yeah, it's proof that mm-hmm. uh, spectrals and spirits poop. Everybody poops. Exist. And then we saw a lot of creepy dolls. Yeah, yeah. Which I thought was a great way to repurpose, like, old dolls that you, I don't know. That could have been haunted. Like, um, well, like, American girl dolls that you sure. paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to Just to, like, dead. it brings them to the next level. There were a lot of them, though. Yeah. Like, I only took three pictures, but there was at least one in every other, like, yeah. vendor. Even if they weren't selling them, they just had them. They just had creepy dolls. I don't know. I like this cat gif. This wiggly cat ghost gif. All right. So spooky. Okay, so, uh, cat, you want to talk about your interviews with some Ghostbusters? Oh, my God. So I had a whole plan. I was going to ask people. I loved your plan. like, thank you. Things like, have you been ghosted? What's your favorite ghost Pokemon? And I went to, there were some Ghostbusters at the convention who do, like, Make-A-Wish Foundation stuff, which is really cool, and they were doing, like, a kid's area. But they, um, they, <laughs> I started asking them questions, and they didn't even, I was like, what's your favorite ghost Pokemon? And they were like, I don't know, Bulbasaur? <laughs> and I was, it just sort of made me disheartened, so I, it wasn't very productive. But the most exciting thing ha- happened was I asked what their favorite um, like, like paranormal apparition was. And, um, one guy gave me a lecture about how poltergeists aren't poltergeists. And then the other lady just said, uh, any white women. And I don't, 
I feel like she's <laughs> referring to some sort of ghost spirit, but I don't really know. I just like that she said white women. Just white women. Just white women. They're so spooky <laughs> and scary. They're uh, frightening apparitions. Yes, frightening apparitions. All right, next slide. What's next? Things we wrote <gasps> down to search for later, yeah. which I actually searched and figured them out. Look at this cat. Okay. <laughs> Tell uh, me about him. I did not. Okay, I don't know how to say this. Corautus versus Home Fed Bank. Uh -huh. The Werewolf Trials. Stambovsky versus Ackley. Ghostbuster ruling. She Who Watches. And Sick Men. Okay, so. Uh, the Krautus versus Home Fed Bank. I looked it up today and I was like, this is boring as fuck. Because it was just the church ruling. Or not church. The court ruling. Oh. It was like the the like legal jargon, oh, and so boy. I was like, get out of here with that. I don't like that. So we're gonna go to um, not a ghost, but I'll boo that. Yeah, I'll boo that right up. Um, so she who watches is a Pacific Northwest. It's like a legend. It's a specifically um, a rock. I think it's a carving, and don't. This is just a cursory Google that I did today. But it's actually a picture on a rock that is a carving or a painting of some sort. Mm -hmm. And there's a legend surrounding it. Um, and it's the legend is a, a woman was chief of all. This is like somebody wrote this down. I don't know who. Don't quote me. A woman was chief Ooh. who lived in this region. Ooh, I'm cold right now. That was a long time before uh, Coyote came up the river and changed things. The people were not yet real people. After a time, Coyote in his travels came to this place and asked the inhabitants if they were living well or ill. They sent him to their chief who lived up in the rocks where she looked down on the village and knew what was going on. Coyote climbed up to the to the house on the rocks and asked, what kind of living do you give these people? Do you treat them well or, or are you one of those evil women? And she said, I am teaching them to live well and big good, build good houses. And that's the fable. Okay. <laughs> and I am hack doing a really terrible oh, job. Weird. I feel like it was just an interview. It was just an interview. <laughs> okay, the Ghostbuster ruling, um, it was about, okay, so this woman had this house, and she's like, for years and years and years, was like, hey, everybody, my house is haunted, my house is haunted, my house is haunted. Hey, guys, nice to meet you, my house is haunted. Hi, it's nice to meet you, my house is haunted. And then um, she tried to sell her house to somebody who wasn't from the area, and he bought it not knowing that the house was haunted. And so uh, when he found out that there's this, like, city legend that his house, the house he's living in is haunted, haunted he wanted to like get out of buying the house because he didn't know that like people were going to come by and be like hey oh, yo right. you got the haunted house right yeah yeah yeah. and uh so that actually caused it to go to court and the court actually had to rule on this which is amazing to me mm -hmm. um the, the court ruled the seller who had undertaken <laughs> undertaken to inform the public at large about the existence of poltergeists on the premise to be sold was and stopped to deny existence of poltergeist on the premise so the house was haunted as a matter of law and the seller must inform the purchaser of the haunting <laughs> the house is haunted as a matter of law they they <laughs> mentioned poltergeist which is great too um because <laughs> they're like like judges and shit um okay werewolf trials um yeah. it was like way back in the day uh -huh. and like um it kind of like is parallel with like witches and the like witch hunts that would happen um in like the 15th 16th and 17th century mm -hmm. and um there's a real famous one and it's pretty interesting there were like 18 women and 13 men were accused of like being werewolves being werewolves okay <laughs> um and then there's a, there's one sentence that was hans the werewolf is a great example oh yeah i would agree with that okay <laughs> so sure hans Okay, <laughs> stick men. Example. Um, black stick men are often described as being exactly identical to the typical cartoon stick man that you draw. Tall, thin, black in color, they are said to move in an odd galloping motion. Some are even said to float above the ground. Supposedly, they are two-dimensional creatures, meaning they are exactly the same regardless of what angle they are being viewed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like that. There are sev several explanations for what this uh, creature could be. A hoax is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe stickmen mm. aren't real. Maybe it's a hoax. Uh, an interdimensional traveler. 
a grim reaper of sorts. So much like the Mothman uh -huh. kind of thing. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. so that's some stuff that we learned about and wrote down to Google later, and I Googled it today. <laughs> it's later. It's later. So we Googled it. Blah. Okay. That Next. was interesting. Quotes My ankles hurt. <laughs> from the week. How are your ankles holding up? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to try and walk right now? No. Okay. Do you want to do some quotes of the from yeah. the weekend? Yeah. Let's do some quotes. What did we hear? He thinks I'm hungry and keeps buying me food and drinks. I'm not going to sleep to have sex with him. You keep you keep no, censoring he's it. He's so sweet. I'm not going to have sex with him. This was completely unprompted by us. It was said to us, and we we it we were just standing there. It's. She, she just like, said that to not us. Not gonna have sex with him. We're like, cool. Okay, great. Yeah, love him, girl. Get it. Um, and the other thing was just some teenager walking behind us, going, "Where the fuck is my jewel?" Uh, good kids. Good, good kids. Good kids. Lots of. It was spring break, so yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody was out, and apparently someone lost their jewel, which is very upsetting. That is upsetting. Uh, also, just as an aside, uh, if you got a ghost story, call in. 503-288-4442. Back to you, Amanda. Talk about ghosts. Next slide. <laughs> Next slide. Oh, yeah. So we had uh, Megan, and ba uh, Megan and Kat just kept, like, posing in obvious band photos. Here are some of them now. Mm, 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 mm. Music note. Oh, it's musical. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that sweet. Oh, man. Ooh. They're so indie. So much emotion. By the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our album. Emotion, Emotion by, by the, the ocean. ocean. Yep. It's a lot of synth. <laughs> so much synth you can't even handle it. Yep. <laughs> all right. Woo. Next slide. What else is happening? Oh, I want okay. you. Okay. 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 You talk all about this. Okay. This is the end of our PowerPoint. Let me tell you about. <laughs> The last witch hunter. Uh, it was so, so boring. <laughs> Even with the fire and the Vikings, it was also very confusing as to what was happening at any given moment. There was a lot of fire, but uh, barely ever anybody getting burned. No, it was all beautiful CG fire. Oh, so much CG. I think Vin Diesel lives in a CG land. Megan, if you're listening, oh, uh, man, if you're Megan. watching us right now, you should call in and tell us your your uh, Give opinions us your about The Last Witch Hunter, which you told us the quote, one of the reviews. One of the reviews, uh, reviewers called it relentlessly unengaging. <laughs> it never stopped pummeling you with just exposition, CGI, more exposition, <laughs> more CGI, and somehow you still had no idea what was actually going on, who the bad guy was, and uh, what was wrong with keeping rocks all together in one pouch. Also, What's wrong with that? Vin Diesel plays a guy who's a Viking. Yeah, we didn't even catch that. We didn't even realize that. The whole beginning is at him all. as a Viking. And then suddenly he's on a plane, but we didn't recognize him as a Viking because he had a long beard, but and then they cut back to it and we figured and it out. And then we're like, oh, he's mm -hmm. the same guy. So uh, the next slide has some other <laughs> reviewers. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I like the the last witch hunter is a smorgasbord of empty calories. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Go ahead, re read all those out for us, just so we can, oop. All right, we got a caller. Ooh. Oh, caller, who is this? Um, this is Jane from Oregon City. Hey, hey Jane. Jane. Do you hey. have a story? Um, I want to talk about how I think some celebrities might actually be ghosts. Oh, Ooh. yes. Let's get into it. Yeah. Which celebrities? Well, I think Natalie Portman might be a ghost. Uh huh. And I'm going to need you to argue me out of it. Well, first of all, let me ask you this. When did she die? We're not going to argue with when she was 13, and that's why she still looks like she's 13, kind of. Oh. I'm not going to argue <laughs> out of so, that. So you're voting dead as opposed to which? Mm. She's dead. She's a little ghost. She's a very small ghost. She's a little ghost. She's got really short arms, which I associate with being a ghost. I mean, that's fair. 
All right, so we got Natalie Portman. Who else is a ghost, Jane? Um, who's the guy who looks like The Rock, but he's tiny? Looks like The Rock, but he's tiny. Vin Diesel? Vin Diesel? Yes. <laughs> so a, a ghost is the last witch hunter. Yes. Is, so do you think Vin Diesel is actually just the rock when he's an old man, but traveled back in time? And can you prove that that's not the case? I can't prove that, but I would wonder if it was more of a transporter accident. Ooh. Ah. Where some of his molecules, he was transporting, obviously. Like, like the we, fly. Like the fly. And some of his molecules just... Uh, they escaped, and now he's Vin Diesel. Like Cuvix on Star Trek Voyager? Well, oh yeah, like Cuvix, exactly, exactly. We got another caller. <gasps> All right. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jane, we're gonna have to let you go. We got another caller on the line. Thank you for your ghost conspiracies. Caller, you're on the air, who is this? Hi, this is BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, BJ. Hi, hi. I'm having, so I'm like one time, first time, you know, just want to get that out of the way. Absolutely. Thank you. First off, I am really having just a big problem. What's your problem? Now, okay, so I don't believe in ghosts. Uh huh. But I'm pretty sure that all my friends are ghosts. Mm hmm. So you don't believe so, in your friend? You're not very supportive? No, I don't believe that that's what I'm thinking, but I'm obviously not very supportive of myself. So. Wait, are we, oh, this is getting, this is getting really introspective. <laughs> it sounds like you're like... just being an unsupportive friend. Maybe your friends are not ghosts, and maybe you just need to believe in them more. Maybe they are ghosts, and they're just trying to trick me into becoming <laughs> filled with their ghostness, and then I'll be part ghost, and I don't want that to occur. That sounds dangerous. Are your friends trying to put this, some of themselves in you? Is that where this call is going? <laughs> I am asking. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this, just like you, BJ. Mm. I appreciate mm. that, Doctor. Mm. Thank you very much. Doctor? It's been very, very <laughs> informative. Uh, it's um, Soctor. Thank you very look, much. <laughs> oh, oh, is that your name? Doctor, thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, but what I don't appreciate is, the, is like all these ghosts that are chasing me because it's terrifying. They're coming through walls. They're trying to just like put ectoplasm on me. I don't know really how to handle that. What do you think, Amanda? I got, I got no ghost in this pony. No ghost in this pony show? <laughs> I've got no ghost in this whole thing. <laughs> I like that. I think I'm going to use that from now on. Yeah, maybe, you, um, maybe just say no. Just say no to ghosts? Maybe you just need to say no to them. <laughs> oh, okay. People let ghosts get away with a lot of stuff. They don't hear no very often. Yeah. Well, if I believed in them, then I would also believe in a stern hand. Because one must take care of it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you have been most helpful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so, so happy uh, I can help. Also, I can't would feel... you... What? Go ahead. Uh, I just wondering if you would give me a pizza. Uh, we're is that not getting... the number that I called? Uh, that, is, that is not us. Uh, <laughs> you'll probably want to look in your phone book for that listing. Uh, Excellent. Call. Thank you, All right, Doctor. Thank, thank you, you BJ. Much. I appreciate that. Bye. 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 Uh, caller, who is this? Hi, my name is Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi there. <laughs> do, you, do you have a ghost story for us? I have a pretty interesting one. All right. Well, you've got about six minutes. Ready, go. Stuff. So I've been haunting you guys for the last hour, and what? you haven't even noticed. What? what? It's pretty rude. Uh, wait, were you that frostbite on my back? Were you the cold spot? I prefer to not call myself frostbite. I think I'm pretty warm. You think you're pretty warm? How did yeah, you I have die? A personality. Oh, yeah. I was hit by a car. Oh. All right. That's yeah, that'll do it. That'll, yeah, that'll kill you. That'll do it. That'll totally kill you. Yeah. Uh, what is your unfinished business, Kyle? 
Um, I have to set the studio on fire. You have to set what on fire? The studio. Oh, the whole studio? Why is that? Because uh, Tony's here, and they're the one who hit me with their car. <gasps> Tony hit you with his car? Dun, dun, dun! How dare you, Tony? You didn't even tell me that you were haunted. I feel like that's like a base for divorce, right? Uh, sure. If you don't tell me that you're what? haunted, it's kind of like the non-haunting houses. Yeah, they'll say a poltergeist or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Kyle, um, Kyle. can we can we ask for you to um, not set it on fire? Please? Please? That's asking a lot. Mm. What if instead you found a candle and set that on fire? Or I could give you guys... Like four minutes before I do it. Okay. I mean, we but we ha yeah. but there's other people that are here that we care about. We don't want them burned in the fire. Yeah, but I'm dead. I don't really care. Well, then why do you need to have it be on fire if you don't really care? Well, I don't really care who gets caught. I mean, I'm dead. We can all just party in the underworld. Well, then why burn anything at all? You can't just wait and be patient for your for your friends to die on their own. Well, I'm also kind of an arsonist. Uh, you're also an art theft? Arsonist. Oh, arsonist, arsonist. of course. Yeah. So what you're saying is, like, it's a good thing that you're, like, Durr. Yeah, it's kind of good that Tony hit you with a car. Yeah. It was you're going to burn bad, everything to the ground anyways. You know, now I can't die and I can still set fires. So it's bad. Well, I mean, so far you haven't really successfully set this on fire, so I'm kind of questioning your ability as a ghost, and uh, I'm going to call your bluff. Let me let me just bring this to the table. Yes. Um, you are not welcome in the <gasps> studio. Oh, she's saying no. You are not allowed. This is our studio. You need to get out and go to hell where you came from. All right, I'm locking the doors. Power of Christ compels you. Ooh, she got you. Power of Christ compels Ooh, you. How's it feel, Kyle? I'm gonna spit because I don't got water. Water's yeah. not allowed in the studio. <laughs> Does that really work on a ghost if they're an atheist? Shoo! Get out of Shoo. here, Kyle. Oh, fine. Shoo! All right. Thanks for calling, Kyle. Thanks for calling. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> okay. Okay. We need a sock count. Chad oh, is man. requesting sock count. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Professor Crane says so many socks. First, I'm going to try to walk. Yeah. Uh, Yusef, I hope I said that right, says, uh, oh. ooh. Oh. That Vin Diesel is canceled forever. Oh, look at that. How does that feel? Does awful. That, it feels <laughs> awful. It feels so bad. Are your feet numb? Uh, yeah. You have, like, comical, like. This is what a normal you size guys, uh, looks just like. Just as a comparison, this is what we're dealing with. I don't know if the camera is really fully Oh, where captured. can we go? I feel like, oh, God. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Look how, oh, my God. Oh, it looks like I just have casts on. Yeah, you have casts. I broke both my feet. Oh, no. You have, like, cartoon feet. Oh, oh no, nope, that's terrible. Do All right. I'm gonna do a sock count. Okay. Will you help me down? Yeah. <laughs> Just like. <letting. laughs> okay. All right. Oh, and that concludes our PowerPoint presentation, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Don't watch the last witch hunter. One. One. Is that two? Two, three. Three. On on the this is the left foot. So this is like the jar of jelly beans. Chat, Four. tell us how many socks. Yeah, how Chad. many? How many do you think I have on? She's at five. Total, five, six. Oh, get it off. Seven. Seven. Oh, at least when my foot hits the ground, it doesn't feel any different. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, they're so hard to get off. Ten. Eleven. It's 12, 13, looks like. 13. Oh, 13, 14. 14. Oh, nope, 15, holy crap. Do we need to, like, surgically cut these off of you? 13, 14, 14, 
15. What's chat's guesses? There's nothing. There's 15. Uh, Dave, 16. David says, I love Vin Diesel for playing D&D. Oh, I can feel my blood. Where am my, I at? My blood? Six, 16? 17. 17. A PPT for PPT, Professor Crane says. 18. 18. 